The historical center of Galibli rises in the characteristic islet, located a few meters from the mainland. Along the city perimeter, the ancient urban walls rise up, punctuated by defensive architectural elements such as towers and ramparts built mainly during the modern Middle Ages. Crossing the Pacha Street, you reach the heart of the historic town, where St. Agatha Co-Cathedral stands, that is the representative monument of Gallipoli's religiosity and devotion. St. Agatha Co-Cathedral is a jewel of the 17th century Salentinian architecture, embellished by the elegant and minute architectural details that decorate the corporal surface and which highlight the niches that house the statues of St. Agatha, St. Sebastian and St. Faust. Inside, you can admire the vast pictorial patrimony distributed on the counter-facade, along the full ceiling and throughout the core of the building. The main pictorial theme recalls the hagiographic events of St. Agatha, immortalized with great skill by the 18th century painter Nicola Maninconico. As early as the 4th century, Gallipoli was an episcopal seat, whose site was then merged with the Diocese of Nardò. The building is flanked by the Palace of the Episcopal Seminary, an 18th century construction built in carpero stone by the able master builder Adriano Prete. The clock tower, built between 1702 and 1714, interrupts the architectural continuity. On its façade, the two dials of the solar clock and the mechanical clock are imposed, while in the lower order stands the civic coat of arms of the city of Gallipoli, a rooster accompanied by the motto in Latin. The characteristic narrow streets of the old town are home to wonderful examples of late 16th century and Baroque architecture, home to the families of the city's aristocracy. In the alloys that are intertwined in the plots of the village, it is easy to come across the popular buildings of Salento, in particular in its typical manifestation of the courthouse. Walking along the long passions, you can admire the pleasant landscape of the Gallipolis Bay, a real enchantment where the palaces of the village meet the ionian horizon. The religious devotion of Gallipoli is expressed in the forms of the confraternity churches, true artistic testimonies of popular faith. Typical of the Gallipoli's devotional Marian expression is certainly the little church of the Virgin of Purity adjacent to the homonymous beach. The oratory inside shows its artistic pomp, identifiable in the precious stucco decorations and pictorial cycles distributed inside, which reveal some enchanting hidden beauties to the visitors. The 19th century china floor blends with the wooden stalls of the confraternal officials arranged along the wall. Wonderful is the effigy of the Virgin of Purity, painted by the famous Napoleon brush by Luca Giordano. The Capro stone is the protagonist of urban architecture and we find it in the Church of the Rosary, built by the Dominicans at the beginning of the 18th century. Next to the church, there is the ancient convent of the Order of San Domenico, now a municipal property and an important container of the cultural life of Gallipoli, to which the urban laboratory Liberal Arte and the center of the sea culture Marea have given a great contribution. In the cloister, some frescoes are still visible, paintings that celebrate the saints linked to the order of preachers, such as Thomas Aquinas and St. Catherine of Siena. Gallipoli, with its amiable shades, is a unique city, 
able to combine the charm of natural landscapes with the taste and elegance of the art of Salento in a context where there is a strong appeal to tradition and antiquity of history.